We have a special edition of Kitco News' Gold Report today. It's our Outlook 2016 series. Frank Holmes joins us today to tell us what investors can expect in the year ahead. Frank, thanks so much for joining us on the special edition. It's great to be with you. So Frank, tell us, how is gold set up here uh, while we enter a new year? What levels could the metal hit in 2016? Well, doing a quick SWOT analysis, I always like to look at strengths and weaknesses of the past year. And the strengths have been, when we look at the love trade, it's been pretty strong out of Asia and gold and silver coins, numismatics in America have been robust. And people have been buying gold and silver on sale. Um, I guess the weakness has been uh, the dollar has been so strong that it's hurt all the commodities. But gold has held up reasonably well as a currency. Well, Frank, let me ask you, everyone is so focused on the dollar, oil, and U.S. monetary policy, but what could be off of people's radar that could affect the gold market next year? Geopolitics. Russia having a battle with Turkey and bringing in uh, all of NATO to defend Turkey. And Turkey's can make some really turkey decisions. Uh, Erdogan is, is just a, a troublemaker, and so that's a big risk. All right, Frank, how about thoughts on mining? Could this route continue? If so, what would the landscape look like by year in 2016? I think that this is going to be the worst write-offs uh, and all the declines because reserves after three years have to get knocked down, book values will get knocked down. That'll all happen in the first quarter of 2016, and uh, that will probably be a, an inflection point for the gold stocks. All right, so more bad news for, for gold stocks, Frank? correct in running the, their financials. But what will happen is you'll probably get gold trade up and it'll be muted. But I think the worst for their financial reporting will be this year. All right, Frank. Finally, every week we ask you what you think a gold touchdown pass could be. Um, what do you think was gold's ultimate touchdown pass this year? And what could be the best touchdown pass for the metal as we head into 2016? Well, the big part this past year that really impressed me was the consumption in America of gold and, and silver on the down days. Uh, the, just the physical offtake that took place here in addition to what was taking place in Shanghai and China. That's very impressive. Looking to next year, I, I think that the big opportunity will be uh, that sentiment improving in gold consumption in China. I think it will continue to grow as they try to build up their foreign reserves and having more gold. Frank, thanks so much for being with us and I want to wish you a very happy holiday season. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Thanks, Frank. And thank you for watching Kiko News' Outlook Edition. We'll have more for you throughout this week.